Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to this second video in our six part series on how to use Google Slides. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking you through how to set the design of your slides and how to manage your slides. So, let's get started. We're going to start by looking at how we add a new slide. We do that by coming across to this button on the left and clicking plus. If we want to choose the design or layout of our slide, we can click this down arrow and we have a series of presets available to us. I'm going to choose this one. I've now added a third slide. To navigate between your slides, simply click on the chosen slide in this navigation pane on the left. We now might want to alter the background of our slides. To do that, come up to Slide, Change Background. We can set it as a colour by picking a colour here, for example, this blue. We can choose a gradient, for example, this one, or you could choose an image. If you're using a theme on your slides, which we'll talk about later, you can click Add to Theme, but for now, we're just going to click done. As we can see, we've now applied a background to this part of our slide. For most slides, if you do it, it will apply it to the whole slide. For example, I can do this. Now let's look at the different layouts and how we can change the layout of an existing slide. To do that, again, come up to slide and choose Apply Layout. Here we can see different layouts that are preset, which will serve different purposes. If you want a blank slide, choose blank. Choose the slide layout which suits you best. We're going to use blank. If we now come back to our third slide, you can see that we have several placeholders within the slide. These are where you can add text, images, figures, or more. Here we're going to add some text. Simply click in the placeholder to do so. You can now just type your text, like so. If you want to use bullet points, simply come up to this bullet point list and click it. And now you will be using bullet points. You can change the style of your bullet points using the drop down menu next to it. For example, I could change to using square bullet points. You can also use numbered lists. To do that, simply change to list. And now you have a numbered list. Much like with most other text editors, you can select your text, change the font, change its size, Make it bold, italic, underlined, and finally change its colour, like so. You may wish to delete slides in your presentation. For example, I may no longer want this first slide. To do that, select the slide in this navigation pane on the left, right click, and then come down to delete. And that'll delete the slide. You may also want to duplicate a slide. To do that, click on the slide that you want to duplicate on the left, right click, and then choose duplicate slide. And now we have a second copy of that slide. Finally, let's choose a theme for our slides. Come to slide, and then click change theme. As you'll see on the right, we now have a set of different themes available to us. These themes apply styling across your slides, which can give your presentation a more professional feel. I like this theme, so I'm going to select it. And now we have had that theme applied to all of our slides. If I now choose to create a new slide, we now have that theme on the slide. That's it for this tutorial. 
If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Make sure you come back to watch the rest of the tutorials in this series. There'll be a link to the playlist in the description. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.